say, are we recording? I don't see it. There we go. Okay, now we are. Buckerson and Myers, episode five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we need to recap? Now with the dog. Now, now with the dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Augie, Augie's going to roll for Pip. The, okay, the dog's going to roll for, for Pip. So be nice to him, Trevor. Every time you think you're going to be mean to Pip, picture that adorable dog. I'm not going to be. Pip's my son. All right, where are we at? What's going, when we last left, we were on the roof. We were cheersing mm -hmm. with our beers. We've got Pip is there. He's yeah. upset. And what's his handler's name? Uh, Elmer, the, uh, Elmer, the guy that owned the store. The mom asked him to take care of uh, Pip. Yeah. So. And I, I think I had just thrown out the uh, option of, do you guys want to go to a strip club? <laughs> right. Oh, okay. nice. That I was the last that, thing. I didn't, that doesn't I didn't mean that we to have to go to a strip club. That just no, I was going to ask you guys, so do you want to start right there? Or do you want to like wake up the next day? Or what do you want to do? I'd say we start right there. And yeah. we figure this strip club thing out. Because we could have a whole night at the club. Well, the other thing is, like, our show is at 9. We probably went on for two hours. So it's only, like, 11. So, like, I, I can't go to bed at 11. I don't know. Do we know if there's a strip club anywhere near here? I mean, this town has two taverns. One is ours, and the other right. you've been to and you didn't like it. Or have you been to the other one? I, I, no, I never got there. Um, but, like, I know we can ask around. All right. Well, you guys are with Elmer and Pitt. Right. right. Elmer, oh, yeah. I ask here. Elmer, hey, Elmer, is there a strip club here? Because Pip won't know. Elmer says, well, I know, uh, you know, I'm from Coney Berry, which is about uh, 10, 15 miles from here. Uh, Coney Berry had some places. Uh, I, I don't know what goes on at the Sleeping Giant. Maybe there's a disrobing afoot. I'm not really sure. At the, is the Sleeping Giant the other bar in town? Or yes. Is that yes. And then there's, then there's Coney Berry. There's a few... There's like a club in Cody Berry. They do all sorts of things. Elmer, how do you not know what goes on at the only other bar in town? I live in my store. What do you this want? This fucker isn't from here. You, I don't trust you him. are a shop <laughs> owner and you don't know the- You the, to that in like three seconds. We haven't even told you five minutes. She's like, I don't trust him. Start reaching for the blades. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying kill him. I'm just saying this fucker's lying. I can tell. All right. All right. Elmer, what? what Where's your store? My store is down the street. It's called, uh, what is this store called? Uh, Barthen's Provisions. I'm Elmer Barthen. And you don't know the other, there's two businesses that serve ale in this town. You don't right. even know what one of them is like? I, I locked in, the door to the I roof. Mean, maybe I was in on a slow night. Maybe they have stripping some nights. I generally hung out here until you murdered everyone involved with the business. I, I lean against the door to the roof so there's no way for him to get down. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna do an intimidation roll for that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you only got a nine, and you get minus. You don't you don't do very well. Yeah, okay. So you only got an eight for intimidation. Elmer says, "Fuck, what are you trying against to the door. do? We're we're literally just talking." <laughs> um, I just I'm don't understand. Go ahead, go ahead, Peppermint. I was just gonna say I, I'm incredibly annoyed by this this little kid. And uh, I take off like a, a sash that I have and I, I start to wrap it around his mouth to, to keep him quiet. The kid's not even talking. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Sorry. Pip's mouth? He's not speaking. Yeah. Oh, I thought that, oh, it's no, Elmer? I'm the guy, I've That's been speaking Elmer. as the guy. There's a guy. Oh, yeah, I thought I, you guys were questioning the kid. I there's was, a guy no. who's like the kids who said he's gonna come with you guys to help with the kid because he doesn't trust Bud. Yeah, I say, oh, to Pepper, okay. I say to Peppermint, stop wrapping shit around my kid's mouth. Like, that's, that's my son. Hey, Elmer, do you yes. know anyone that would know where the strip club is in town? Well, I mean, there's only one other place. No, nothing's going on here because you guys are the only people that run this bar, and we're all up here right now. Right, we so get it. We'll go we can to go to Sleeping Giant because you murdered my friends, remember. So we're going to go to the Sleeping Giant. We could just go there and ask, or we could try and check out Cody Berry. If we take the cart, we could get there in an hour or two and still have time, you know? What's this place like? What's Cody Berry like? Yeah, I grew up there. There was one, there was one place there. It was, uh, they, they did some shows there, but there was a lady there that would take off her clothes. What was her name? Uh, she would occasionally, if you got her, Agatha. Agatha, you would get her, you know, you could get her kind of strip. Uh, strip was she a human like or was she an orc? What was she? She was a lady. 
like 20, 20, 30 years ago. Oh. You know any halflings that like to strip? Not around here. Uh, guys, by the way, I just I want to let everyone know. I know I'm a female. I, I'm cool with it. You guys want to go, especially you, hyphen. I'm I'm down like that. What do you mean? I go to strip. Want to go? What does that mean? I, I want to go to the strip club. Like I'm fine with it. You know, I'm not going to get uncomfortable or anything. If you want to go, okay, and, and the strippers will feel safe around us because we have a, a woman with us. Right. I mean, will they look at her? Probably get some perks out of it. Yeah. Is there a place to get more cocaine in Coneyberry? Okay. I don't know much about the trade in Coneyberry anymore. If you you were talking about cocaine, I don't know how much I can tell you about the cocaine uh, in Fandolin. All right. How about this? I walk up, I pull my knife out, and I say, it's in your best interest to find me cocaine. All right, let's see how How's that this gonna works. go. Let's see how that goes on. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you always roll well for intimidation, anyways. Then you get plus three for it, so you get you definitely goes. Okay, okay. Here's what I know. Cocaine was coming in past. It was coming in from somewhere past Coneyberry. Uh, it's called the Tribor Trail. It was coming in from there. Uh, Viarno, uh, you know, Glassstaff. He and the the red. Uh, God damn it! What's their name? The, the Red Guards were selling it. Red Brands. The Red Brands, thank you. They were selling it. And uh, I just know that it came from somewhere. I know that uh, there was a black spider marked on some of the packages. That's all I know. Black sp okay, this is interesting to me. Guys, mm. somebody, what if, we, what if we adjust our vocation, right? What if we're sketch comedians first and foremost? Okay, we rule at that. That's cool. Let's go to a bigger town, get a bigger audience. And if... We can also take over the cocaine business of this town. How fucking gangster would we be? That would be cool. And we could use the money from selling the cocaine to, to like fund our shows and put on these really extravagant yeah. shows. And then we'll all <laughs> adopt our own kid and we'll also run a daycare. <laughs> Psych, that's a terrible idea. Why do we do, why do you have a kid? What is going on? Let's go to, let's go to the strip club in Coneyberry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I teleport us there so we don't have to get on a cart? <laughs> no, Coney Berry's that far. So um, okay. we'll get you on the cart. As soon as as soon as we see the the cart in line of shot in line of sight, I go shotgun. <laughs> okay. Let's see how that works. Oh, Trevor rolled a fourteen for shotgun. So. All right. So everybody, who we got in the cart? We got uh, Fud up front. Who's driving the cart? uh wilbur I, I, elmer elmer will drive yeah. the cart all right so we got in the back is pippin uh, pip peppermint if there's not enough room or whatever um uh, the halfling can sit on my lap you know that's good that's, that's good, good. Yeah. well let's see if you can fit it how well we can fit into the cart so this sucks oh uh, you guys only got a four for fitting everyone in so yeah uh so hyphen's gotta, gotta sit on peppermint we gotta lap. squeeze oh. yeah that's all right that's okay it doesn't bother me. It bothers me. But. And, and Pip can sit on Bobo's lap. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <clears throat> Pip can sit on your lap. No, I'm in the front. The kid yeah. can't be in the front right, seat. So, so your, your cart is going the down the road. You're going down the ro road towards uh, Coneyberry is the name of the town. Do we see any, like, billboards for the strip club and where we're, like, getting excited? We're like, oh... You see one. You see one billboard. Okay, well it's at night, so so and the, you know there's not lights in this world. Right. As as we're riding, I say to the guys, "Hey everybody, uh, since we're all going to a strip club tonight, uh, I got everyone a present. I made it with my magic, and I give everyone a present, and they open it up, and it's a pair of umbros for everybody." <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want to see how this goes over. Oh, that's only a four. So everybody's kind of like, oh. like what, what is the point of the Umbros? <laughs> it makes you, the pants are, the material's thin. Oh. And it's like slippery. Yeah. So, so when you get a lap dance. You, to so be a creep. creep. Okay. Like feels good. Yeah. 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 It'd be a creep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to wear jeans? <laughs> <laughs> like a respectable person? Yeah. Why don't we just put on some corduroy and go to a strip club? 
So um, you guys are traveling at night, so there is going to be an encounter. And now I, I need to roll a uh, 12D to see what you're going to encounter. You're encountering uh, what they call a Sturgis. Literally, it's called Sturgis. Well, it's S-T-I-R-G-E-S, but I think you pronounce it like, you know, the bike rally that got everybody saying. Yeah, is it, a, is it a ton of fat, ignorant yeah. bikers? It's a bunch of, well, no, what Sturgis says, if you didn't know, is like fucking accountants doing cosplay as bikers. So that's, a, that's a, it's a bunch of white guys named Terry show up on their bikes. <laughs> so that's They're what we see. They're way too clean shaven to be real bikers. Oh, no, so Sturgis are like basically bats, giant bats. They're like flying predators. And so they start swooping at you guys. So I'm like, oh, everything in this city fucking sucks. <laughs> we're, in, we're not in a city. Well, we're going from one city to the other. Yeah. Right. It's just like, it, it's almost like it's like a, it's almost like it's a world designed to like create like combat and situations. It sucks. <laughs> it's like, you know what it is? It's like, there's too many fucking animals in this town. <laughs> Or like animals mixed with another animal. Yeah. Again, we're like in the middle of the woods. Oh, here's what a sturge looks like. Holy shit, that's a good drawing. Can we show that? Yeah, it's like a bat with a, it's like a skin bat with a bird's head. That's it pretty gross. Cool. Whoa. That is really gross. Okay. So yeah, they're not, I mean, they're, they're fucking nothing though, but they can hurt you. So, uh, so now we're in combat with three sturges. Says oh, they're attacking us? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. That's what's happening. They're flying at the cart. Hmm. I throw my spear at one of them. What do okay. you say? I say, spear's looking at you, kid. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah, they only have two hit points. That's what I thought. So, okay. Yeah, so you hit it for four. So you take one out. There's two left flopping around. So now we're at hyphen. I say, batter up, bat. <laughs> yep. And then I, oh, yeah. I take a shot with my bow and arrow. This is not a very scary encounter. I was hoping for the owl bear, but okay. I'll probably so edit all this out. You destroyed the bat. <laughs> all, all the part where we're actually playing the game and not just yeah. talking about Coke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so you killed another one. There's one left, your turn, foot. Uh, I say, there's too many fucking animals in this town, and I throw magic at it. <laughs> throw magic at it, all oh, right. My okay. magic. You want to use like magic missile or right? you, know, you got spells yeah. and stuff. Okay, cool. We'll do magic missile. All right. Oh man, you only uh you only got a four though, so plus five. So your magic missile goes it misses the sturge. So sorry guys. So there's only one left, and so now one's flying at peppermint. Peppermint, it's your turn. Oh, um then I I say uh well I've got the half link in my lap. Uh so I pick him up and I say, finish him off hyphen and i throw the half link up in the air up at the bat <laughs> now you're in a you i just I, i'm okay with whatever you do you do remember you're in a moving cart right yeah <laughs> all right good all right cool good yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god i love it okay you got a 15 so uh hyphen's body hits <laughs> the sturge and, well, uh, hyphen can't, can't. I'm kind of sort of like giving him an extra move. I'm like hyphen can like make a move while he's in the air flying at the bat. No, that's what I I'm mean, trying to do here. Unless he that's knew what, what you're doing, I don't know. No, I he mean, didn't understand. He doesn't understand until halfway. Yeah, I flight. feel like you just threw hyphen at the into bat. into. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I just picture, well, but, it, I mean, I thought you were just throwing him like a projectile. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is okay, what yeah. Maybe does. that's this what I'm doing in reality, but in my mind, I feel like I'm one with Hyphen, and we're, like, working as a team. I like you that. Know? So that's what you're, I am doing from the outside perspective, but I think I'm doing something different. I like you're that. I like that she's the, got sort of a delusion. Like, well, this is also like, Peppermint's big yeah. fighting move. This is what she does. Yeah, it's like her special right. move. It's when she yeah. saves up a blue bar of energy. And Am I go. okay? Can we can we get Yeah, so so you hit the sturge, you definitely kill the bat that you run into with your like your bat. With my body, sure. Hits, yeah. So she throws you and just kinda you slam into it, and then you're gonna fall to the ground. Um, and I catch him. How can okay. you catch me? Yes, and she's gonna catch you, but let's see if she can catch you. Yeah, I like this. All right, let's see if she can grab you. Let's see. It's a dexterity check, which she's it's not her strongest suit, but let's see. Uh, she only got a five for catching you, so she definitely misses you. <laughs> so you're going to take it. She almost catch you. You, like, slip through her fingers. So you're going to take a little bit of damage on the ground. 
Uh, you only took one hit point, so you're fine. Oh, you're fine. okay. You're a little scraped up. I, uh, I might so, be physically fine, but I'm very upset. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't I, have I, a, I don't know what hit dice you do for emotional damage. You guys are going to have to sort okay, that out. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, man. I, th we talked about this in the bar. You threw me in the bar, and I got hurt. And now I'm sitting on your lap, which you convinced me to do, and you throw me at a bat. And again, I get hurt. This is fucked up. And I, I have... I have some some dignity that I have to defend here. So I am going to fucking shoot an arrow at your leg. Oh shit. And um, then to change his mind, I spray healing mist on it. No, no, you, this is my turn. You don't get to do I I'm shooting an arrow at your leg. <laughs> okay, he's shooting well, but Sam technically had a turn between all this. Sam is there, uh, but the, bird, the birds turn. were dead. I'm gonna use my turn to turn to to Futt and be like, are you really a wizard? Because whenever it comes time for you to like use your magic, you just say "do magic." Uh, there's you wouldn't understand that. That's how us wizards talk. Uh, every other wizard I saw has specific spells that they use. Yeah, well, maybe those were the fake ones. Uh, yeah, maybe. have you have we seen you do magic though? Uh, I, 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 all of your magic is giving people umbros and putting people in chokeholds. Oh, but that's a good point. You all have umbros that I gave you. From that's ma magic. I could give people umbros. Yeah. You'd have to go to a store and buy it. I just manifested it. I feel like your magic is like bargain hunting. <laughs> I'm like, look, I feel really put on the spot here. I don't like, uh, you know, like, there's a, a fight going on between Peppermint and, and Hyphen. Which, by the way, I'll, I want to try to uh, squash this. Let's just be cool. You know, we're, we're, you're, we're like five minutes away from Titty City. And, uh, you know, let's just have a night, hang out. We don't need to be attacking each other. Okay, well, but, but you, you got to wait for your turn to do that. So now oh, uh, Hyphen's shooting a bow and arrow at her leg. And, I mean, at this point, you're, all, you're in the cart, so you point blank, right? I mean... I'm in the cart if I was just thrown into a bat but and she, landed she on the ground. She, she threw you up and like caught you again, right? Okay, so I landed in the cart. Well, then I stab her in the leg, even okay. even better. All right, so you're gonna stab her in the leg. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm pissed off, dude. This is not the first time this has happened. I rolled a three. <laughs> what does that mean? So it means you definitely don't hit her. And uh, how do I miss stabbing a giant thing? I don't know. You tell me. It's dark. You're still rage. I don't know. It's only a three. I guess I'm supposed to explain why I'm part of the story. Tell them. So you roll three, uh, which means it's so dark and shit that you just miss her and you're still pissed. You're obviously a little flustered from having been thrown into a bat and then landing back in the cart. Uh, so you drop the knife. You don't hit her at all. And now we're over to fight. All right. It's I'm funny like... that we're still doing combat rounds when there are no monsters to fight because this is how you guys get along. <laughs> well, you know, what you did is essentially a hate crime, okay? Little people like me have been tossed around since the beginning of time, and it's not cool, all right? You need to, you need to respect other people. And I say, guys, it's all, let's just, let's be cool. Peppermint, do you want to say you're sorry? Yeah, I, I'm so sorry, and that was so cute. I love that. <laughs> and I, I pick him up, and I put him back in my lap. <laughs> let's see if he can resist that. He got 11, so he's, he kind of struggles and gets out, you know. So you don't get him in your lap. He's just kind of standing next to you. All right, and I say feisty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> Elmer, meanwhile, is just still driving the car, being like, I don't know what your guys' deal is, but uh, we're a few minutes away from Cody Barry, so. I turn All up right. the radio. Uh, does Pip have any turns in this, or does he well, just... I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we could give him something to do. I'm not. I, we don't have to. I, I'm just. I'm okay, just so, so Pip, you know, he's fine. Well, and it's nighttime, so he's kind of sleeping. He, he's kind of sleeping in the corner of the cart. Uh, yeah. Well, his dad or Fut is up front with Elmer. So. Yeah. And you guys. I gave him. Up. I gave him. I I give him some like combos or something to eat. Right. Okay. Well, he's asleep. Like I just okay. said, but you can give him snacks. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we are pulling up to Coney Berry. And uh, the first thing you see is just like a wrecked building. And then you pass a wrecked building and there's another wrecked building. And there's just kind of ruins everywhere. 
And hey, there's like Elmer, what are we doing here? I one house like, standing up. What, what's standing up? There's one house just still standing. That's, that's it. Incredible. Elmer, you brought us to a fucking ruined town. You told us there was a strip club and cocaine. I thought this was Party City. I what told you. I told you I hadn't been back in a while. I told you there used to be a place with a lady named Agatha. I don't know. I, I don't know. You, I said we could go to Sleepy John. Ch check it out. Uh, the, the tall elf said, let's go to Cody Berry. And given his past transgressions, I figured let's just do what he wants. And what a surprise. This town's a fucking dump. So let's, should we go to the one building? I, I guess, guess we can go. I tell you this. If this one building isn't a strip club with cocaine everywhere... I'm going to stab Elmer to death. Can I, but yeah. can I just, uh, you know, uh, step in here and say, I never, I didn't promise cocaine in this town. I said that cocaine was coming from this direction. I didn't know if it was coming from Coney Berry or through Coney Berry. Sounds like some bullshit from some guy that wants to die. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All oh, right. man. There you go, Bobo. Now, oh, now we're cooking. God. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he knows what we're getting at. Yeah. All right. Let's go check this building out. Let's let's hope for your sake. This well, is should we knife uh, Elmer? Well, I want to. I'm gonna knife him. Don't worry. If this is like not a cool swinging joint, it's I say to I say to Elmer, I'm like, wait a minute. They're probably not gonna let Pip in this strip club. No, I could. Yeah. Uh, I'll stay out here with him. You guys can go in. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. What are you? What you're gonna stay out alone could, with the I kid? I don't go to strip clubs. I'm just kind of. You know, I've got to. Thing. I don't go to strip clubs. What I'm asking is there like is there like an is there a place where there would be like age appropriate strip clubs for Pip to go to? Like uh, strippers that are his age that he could go to that while we go to a regular strip club? Are you asking if there are child strip clubs in this town with one stand? Not for us to go to, but for Pip to go to, so it's not weird. <laughs> um Okay, you I roll mean, a five that... for that convincing Elmer goes, that is completely fucked up. You right. go inside. I'm watching your son in the cart. Okay. Oh, Fudd, are you going to let him talk to you like that? No, I stab him. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard, Gary Gygax. All right, cool. So Gary Gygax created uh, this game. Anyway, so, uh, okay, so you're going to stab Elmer. In the eye. Okay, you got a 15. What do you get for dexterity? Okay, you hit him in the eye. Uh, short sword. He's one hit. Like, he has one hit point left. Okay, all right. All right. I, I say, Elmer, just apologize. Just apologize to Futt, and you'll be fine. And we can all go in, and we can have some drinks and forget this ever happened. Say you're sorry. Okay. Uh, so you rolled a 13 for that, and yeah, you have good charisma. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I don't know what I did. I, I, I'm I just trying to help this kid. I told you I hadn't been here in a while. I'm very, very sorry. Look, you got to understand, dude, this is his son, okay? You can't tell the guy that you're going to keep his son outside while he goes inside, all right? It's okay, I want to say one thing about this whole son thing. Yes, you better be you careful. You better my... think real hard before you open your mouth. Yeah, you, you got to hold over my head that he's one hit point left, left bucko. You're going to you're going to you're going to sass somebody right now? Really? I'm not going to sass him. I'm just saying I have known Pip for Pip's whole life. And I agree that Fudd is his father, but I would appreciate it if you stop holding their relationship over my head because Pip is safe with me too, and he knows that, don't you, Pip? Hold on. I, I, so I, I pull. He only gets a one to convince Pip of that. So Pip goes, "I don't feel safe with anybody." <laughs> I <laughs> say literally just rolled a fucking one for that guy. <laughs> man, that backfired. <laughs> I say to Elmer, "Look, man, look, I like you, okay? Like, I think you're cool, but." That kid there, he thinks the world of me. And it, you can't like, you can't talk to me like that in front of him. Okay, let's see how the kid thinks of that. You got like a, you got a seven. So the kid's like, I guess he's like, that's not that great. Don't give a thumbs up. The that kid's means like, he okay. doesn't agree. Well, it's, I mean, he's like, he's still not convinced by any of this. He's starting to think uh, maybe I would be better off alone. <laughs> Too bad. There Can I just suggest yeah. that we, why don't we just all go into the club, okay? I don't understand what the big deal is about Pip. Was he going to see some boobies? It's not a big deal. Let's just go in the club. Let's be grown Let's up. Let's sneak him in. Let's just sneak him in. it's weird for a little kid to be looking at adult strippers? You no, stab him in, in the in. face in front of him. Who gives a shit? He's already fucked up. Right. He saw his mom and dad disown him and, 
They have their heads caved in. Bottom is, if ten minutes asks, ago. I, I rolled a 17 plus three, so 20 for his speech. So his speech is going over very well. If anyone asks, say he's another halfling. Yeah, he's my, oh. he's my uncle. I'll tell people he's older than me. You know, who gives That's a smart. shit? We'll go. I like that. All right. We go into okay. this, this door. So there's a dilapidated house. It's the only thing standing. Everything else uh, is fucking obliterated. And, I got a uh, ton of $1 bills, dudes. It's been sitting there for a long bills. time. Okay, so the, the town has clearly not seen much in the way of action. And Are do we, we hear any, like, up? house music, like, coming from the, the house? Like <laughs> We're, like, approaching the door, and we're, like, getting ready. We're, like, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we all wearing our umbros? Yeah, I'm, I put I my umbros so on. Guys, put okay, on. so you guys could take a moment, put on your umbros. Yeah, so now it's very late at night. It's, like, it's like 2 in the morning at this point. You I'm, like, right Pip, Pip, put, put your umbros on. Put your umbros on. <laughs> Pip can have my umbros. <laughs> Pip, you look know. good. You, by, Pip is crying. He's still upset about his parents. <laughs> this is the worst night of his life. Let's see if he likes the Umbros. Oh, I hope they don't ID him. Uh, he's, he got 11. So he's just very, he's like, fine, I'll put these on. I, like, yeah, yeah, you look sharp. You he, look he's sharp. very meh. He's very Oops. meh on this whole thing, which I, I mean, if I were him, I'd probably be a little more emotional. He's just kind of, you know, but that's, a, that's. He's the numb. Issue. He's numb. Yeah, that's the issue with kids now is they're completely numbed by technology, you know, and uh, so well, he just. Are your parents getting killed? Yeah, and it's you know he's just his his emotions are completely burnt out. So he's just he's a chill. fucking he's chill. He's annoying me a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> I sh I shoot peppermint a look. <laughs> All right, we get it. We get into the strip club. Okay, you're you're going into the you're going into the house. Yep. That's standing in the village. Um, okay, so uh, who's who's gonna, who's what order are we in? Who's who's walking up first? Let's just keep the same order. I don't even know what order that is. Oh, you mean like the order we were doing for action? Bobo goes in first. Yeah. Bobo goes. All right, Bobo. So what are you going to do? You want to just walk in or knock on the door? Or what are you going to do? Uh, I'm just going to walk in. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. I think it's a strip club. I'm not going to knock on the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you knock at the strip before you went into the strip club? Well, okay, Hello, but Spirit and Rhino. I'd like I to come in, I just want to say that there has been no, I mean, this is not definitely a strip club. It is the house that is still standing. It's a strip yeah. club. We if are, we are sure it's a strip club. We'll see when we get in there if it's not. If All it's right. not a strip club, Elmer's dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the door opens, and there's a lady there. Hello. Ooh. And uh, so she opens the door, and... Uh, Okay, so she's very beautiful looking, uh, kind of uh, has a kind of an ethereal kind of blue green glow to her though. It's called glitter. Hot. Yeah, right. that's probably yeah, that's, the lighting. Uh, These places hot. tend to invest a lot of money, the upscale ones in good lighting. I lean over, I, I lean over to Hyphen and I go, I like them blue green. <laughs> I, I lean over to Hyphen and I say, that ain't shit. I say, get the fuck away from me, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, so as she, as she comes up to you, the air grows cold and the kind of lights are flickering a little bit. And she's a, she, uh, as her hair blows back from a wind that came from nowhere, you can see she has pointy ears and she's got waving robes and uh, her hair is blowing everywhere. Uh, she says, foolish mortals, what do you want here? Do you not know it is death to seek me out? This is so hot. <laughs> is this like a character that you're doing? Okay. Like, is this like a nurse character kind of thing? I, I say what, are like, you what are you saying you want me to do? <laughs> oh, does, anyone so have the does anyone have the silver comb? The yeah. what? Silver comb. None yeah. of you have the silver comb? No one has a silver comb? I give it to her. I give her the you, silver you comb. You must have accidentally killed that person that had the silver comb a few episodes ago. Okay, okay. so. I give it to her. You don't have it. You don't oh. have it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my little thing of saying, you fucking killed whoever was supposed to give that to you. I'm like, okay. I, I, we don't have a silver comb, but we have, I have $75 cash. And uh, and I'm ready to spread that around to any of your friends that might be back there somewhere. And why is there no music playing at this club? Also, right, so I, got gonna... a little, I got a little two to cocaine, if that sweetens okay. it. Is, is, we'll do a, we'll, we'll do a persuasion check. We're going to do a persuasion check on Agatha. Um, 
And, uh, you know, so she's, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you guys care, like, to, I mean, do you know what she is? <laughs> she's hot. Okay. Yeah, right, cool. she's good looking. So, uh, I give her my ID. All right, so you're giving her the ID and $75. Let's see how this does. We gotta be, okay. So you can leave your type of money and identification with me and uh, you may enter. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so you come in and it's, it, this is just one room. There is, uh, it's, it's pretty, it really seems strange that she's even here because it doesn't seem like anyone's ever really lived here in many, many years. It's like dilapidated. There's plants growing halfway up the walls. For any furniture there has been broken and fucking beaten into sawdust a long time ago. There's old, old footprints, broken rusty swords. It's uh, pretty clear that something happened here a long time ago. But Agatha is just here and she's blue I've, and she's floating around. I've been to surf clubs like this before. Sometimes yeah, it's got like a jungle really theme fun. to it. They can you know? really like, I, I ask Agatha if this is a bottoms off place. Like, what are the laws here? Like, what? You only roll a six. She says, ask me another question like that, and then you will. I will show you the real answer. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, <laughs> ask her again. I, okay. Yeah. Is this a bottoms off place? What are the laws here? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. And then that's all interrupted by a knock at the door. Oh, I guess they fuck. do knock at this strip club. That's Here they are. <laughs> oh, maybe these guys have a silver comb. Maybe we can we can see what's going on with that. Okay, so the door opens, and Sister Garrel, who's the nun from Fandolin, is standing there, uh, oh, wow. holding a silver holding a silver comb, and with her is Halia, the barbarian spy, and uh, four other barbarian women. They're fully armed for battle they're wearing they're all wearing fur armor you know and uh they're much better they're much more dressed than than the last image we saw of peppermint like they you can't see their midriffs and they have they each have uh, uh three of them have swords one of them has a battle axe so they are there and Garel is holding a silver comb and, and we that's right you, you guys didn't kill Garel, but the, but she's she was the nun you guys remember her she was the nun and they kind of yeah, yeah they left yeah, yeah they left so, so when they open the door we're like hey Hey, we know you. Hey. Oh my God, you guys, you come here too? That's crazy. You guys want to get nuts? Okay. Who wants to talk to? Who wants to talk to the 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 nun and barbarians? Who wants to be the ambassador well, is here? Zach, the best at talking. Oh, Zach's the best at talking. Okay. So, yeah. like, ladies, hello. Uh, you guys clearly must have loved our show, which is very flattering, and it's awesome that you guys came here. We've actually been having a little problem with not having the silver comb. Could we all just kind of like buddy up into one group and your silver comb will all just kind of, you know, we're all, we're, we're together, we, right? <laughs> okay, we you got it. <laughs> you, you, you rolled a 16, so that's okay. So Sister Garel's like, being religious, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't really get your comedy, but uh, you know, if you're here with us to help us deal with Agatha, I wanted to ask you about that anyways, and so that's fine. Wait, let's you know, and you're in luck, because I just made a deal with Agatha for like 50 bucks or 75 bucks, so like. And can I say, and, you are a pretty hip nun. Yeah. So, uh, Garel's just like, okay. So she just approaches Agatha with the silver comb, and uh, Agatha thanks her and bows her head, and then Agatha mm -hmm. disappears. And in her, uh, she was a banshee, and so she just disappears. And so in her, uh, in her place, there's just a spell book sitting on the ground. Did she take the $75 with her? What about my ID? Okay, <laughs> the spell book and the cash. I mean, she's not taking cash to the other world. $74 are left, and then a, uh, an ID uh, laying on the spell book. So well, that's All lucky. Right. I pick up my ID, and I put it in my... <laughs> You took a dollar with her. Okay. And I pick up my cash. I'm like, what did I just pay for? Where, where did she go? <laughs> so the, uh, the, the nun is after the spell book. And she and the barbarians are kind of part of a whole, uh, their whole other quest to uh, <clears throat> search for knowledge to look for the spell book. So she basically picks up the spell book and says, like, well, I got what I needed here. Um, and they're, uh, they're basically about to take off. So, uh, And we say, well, we didn't get what we needed. All right, let's see how that goes over. Oh, well, yeah, let's see here. So, Oops. Bubba, what were you going to say? Uh, I forget. 
Okay. okay. Well, Peppermint goes over very well to them. So 19, you know, I guess it's a, she's a big, strong woman. There's a lot of big, strong women there with the nuns. So like, okay, uh, what did you need, half orc? And your pets? What did you just uh, call us? That's <laughs> offensive. Do you know how not cool it is to call a halfling a pet? Do you know that we've been called that for hundreds of years? <laughs> we can say that to each other. You can't say that to us. Okay, let's see how that goes over with the barbarian. Got a three. Halfling. They just don't care. <laughs> yeah, we are We are barbarian women of Xantrim. We say what we want to who we want. Pet. Ooh. Okay. And then I just roll my eyes and I just swing up my axe and it just cuts half of her face off. That's you don't get to decide how Peppermint. bad it is, but you can, you can swing her axe at her. Let's see how well you do that. I don't swing my axe down. I swing it up so it right, starts like cutting from here and yeah, like just I get it. Yeah, so you like for... slices her face off. Right, I so you're like going for Richard. What? I feel like this was unnecessary. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know how to like role play insanity. Sometimes it gets a little tough. <laughs> I role play against insanity. Anyways, okay. So uh, Peppermint is swinging at one of the barbarians. Yeah. Whoever just said that shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, geez. You got a 19. So that definitely hits her. Like it just flies off of her face. Let's see how so it So it's does. just like a flat, bloody stump right there. <laughs> okay. You okay well, you got eight. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, that's the great axe. Yeah, let me see. That's gonna do more damage than I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. You have to see if you kill her first. Yeah, we have to see how much damage you do, and then we can describe how gross it is. So, all right, you uh, did 13 damage to her, and these chicks, uh, ladies, have a... Uh, who was the one who said it? I don't even know who. who what well, was that's a, just one of the barbarians. It's, uh, oh, it's just one of them, okay. You heard it, you just stabbed someone. So you actually cut through her face. You, you did what you wanted. You, you got enough to kill her. So she That's goes awesome. and she falls over. Peppermint, and... that was cool. I appreciate that. Thank you. All okay. Right. So Halia and three other Zentrums are standing there. And they're like, are we really going to do this? <laughs> You're the one who's got friends saying some ignorant, bigoted shit to me. I mean, you tell me. Is there I, not I... something else we could figure out here? I, I stab uh, Elmer and kill him. And uh, Elmer, is Elmer with you? Okay, Elmer yeah. is with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I'm like, look, you guys. All right, one of your people died. One of our people died. It's all even. Let's be like cool. Okay, so you do hit Elmer, and uh, he's only got let, one hit point left. Yeah, he's only got one. I'm sure you're gonna kill him. Let's see here. So you did hit him. Uh, you get D6. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so you hit Elmer in the chest. He goes. I don't understand this. It falls over, which I'm pretty sure is what someone else said when you killed him last week. Or whatever. <laughs> it's kind of a running thing. So okay, so now Elmer's dead. Uh, Pip is standing there. Let's see how Pip reacts to all this. Um, he's uh, kind of turning around to your style of parenting. You got a 16, so he's like, "See, is he? I guess he's protecting me." I don't know. He's a good kid. <laughs> All right, so let's go, uh, Bobo, let's go to you. Can't try and keep it in order. You don't have to do this if you guys would just act cool. <laughs> now, do you guys want to be cool? Okay, you're saying that to the barbarians? Yeah. Okay. All right, that goes over well with them. So they, okay, well, maybe look, look, you're a bunch of crazy, violent artists. We're a bunch of barbarians. Maybe we can go do something together, right? What are you trying to do? Okay, you guys trying to get a little wild? We still have some blow. It's like, yeah. You have the blow. We've been trying to track down the blow for months. We've we been trying you, to boo. figure out where this is coming from. That's what we're trying to do too. That's our whole thing. Look, ladies, there's, how many of them are there? There's Halia and three more. There's, so there's four, four of you, there's four of us. And Pip says, I'm also, I'm also here still. Uh, this, the, yeah, the, and a kid. And uh, we've got some blow. We're in a strip club. It's kind of a dump, but it'll have to do. Let's just like, let's just kind of hang out for a bit and see if anything crazy happens. 
All right, he got a 17 for that. So Halia says, all right, we have been traveling. We've been spending a lot of time being very vigilant and fandling, trying to keep our eye on the Red Guards. Maybe we should all just unwind a little bit. I Maybe say let's right. go there. Okay. So, Can we just like do a like, let's roll to see if we party and just like, you know, yeah. does the night go well? We don't need to go into the minutia of everything. No, we, we don't. Let's just see how it goes. So let's see. Okay. So I'm going to roll this kind of general charisma check. Oh, you got a 12. So the part, okay. So the party's charisma got a 12. <laughs> so that's right in the middle, right? It's a little so, awkward, but it's not, it's not terrible. You guys definitely get more fucked up than they do. And so you guys all think that it's going great. And they're all just kind of like, this is just very awkward. And we don't really understand these people. And some of them are sort of hot, uh, I guess. I don't we're know. Like, how about we're all I, close I, talkers. We're like <laughs> talking way too close to them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Where are you from? Like, what's your, what are you about? What are you, what are you into? You know what I mean? Like, you seem it's cool. Just, it's just the worst party montage you've ever seen. Yeah. Just, Huge, beautiful barbarian just being like, what? And like slowly drinking. And you guys are like, don't you get it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you, do we just want to cut to the next morning or what? Yeah. You, you, okay. So we say, all right. So, all right. So everybody just kind of falls asleep wherever in the house. Uh, Halia and the Zentrum are sleeping right by the door, some behind the door, because they're always in, in fucking combat mode just in case somebody came in, right? So they're all sleeping there. Does anybody uh, hook up? Huh? Does anybody hook up? And not with the barbarians. I don't think that was enough of a role for anybody to fuck a barbarian. Um, Trevor, you wake up and Pip is sleeping at your feet. Aw. Um, Darren, uh, uh, Peppermint wakes up with uh, Zach in her arms. Oh, God. With, and, and hyphen, I mean, that wasn't really your, your choice. It's just kind of, you, you wake up and you realize you're being held. Yeah, but get the of, fuck off me. God. Um, and Bobo, you're just like sleeping on the couch. <laughs> you're like doing fine. <laughs> so, when it comes up Bobo. Like, that was a crazy night last night, guys. Uh, and yeah. he's like, yeah, sure, sure. So. I had fun. Yeah, so I guess I guess you girls should be moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, <clears throat> this is an awkward question of me to ask, but mm -hmm. uh, I have forgotten. There's two of them, right? There's four of them. There were five, but you well, killed didn't them. one leave? Oh, there. Were, I thought there were four. There was the nun and Halia and four barbarian women. They they were rolling deep, so there's still four. There's still Halia and three other barbarians with her. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what are all your names? <laughs> Damn it, Zach. Uh, I'm Halia. This right. is Thalia. Oh, God. <laughs> Palia. Uh <-huh>. Talia. <laughs> and Antonine Scalia. Antonine Scalia. Huh. No, you guys, don't make Antonine me do it. Antonine Scalia is a, a fat, manly, Italian looking <laughs> woman. <laughs> Just with a big bat. Yeah. And then, then there's another knock at the door. Oh my god. Uh, Who's gonna it? I'm so hungover. I, 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 what? What? <laughs> Musk demands vengeance. Comes a voice. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What time is it? Really? <laughs> Come back at noon, dude. We are here now, not noon. How many people? It's Mosk and the Nothic that you guys let run off last time. Monothic, that spiky evil monster that chased Darren from the from the. Basement. Are they friends? They ran off together, and now they're together here. Yeah, it's, so it's like two 11, of them. It's like eleven in the morning. We're not open. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, Moss swings his axe at the, or I think he has a sword, but uh, Moss swings his uh, whatever he has at the uh, at the door. Hey, uh, barbarian, we barbarians, you're gonna, you guys, I think you're gonna have to help us out with this. We live for battle. Great, Moss, take Fuck, a yes. shower. The strip club's closed. Uh, the, he, they're the human oh, shield. Have them go first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the door falls open and there's Moss standing there. He's still a little fucked up from when you guys heard him the other night. And the Nothic, which is that scary looking monster that has some kind of weird mental powers too. They're both standing there. 
and Halia and the Zentrum are just like, oh, Anathic! And uh, Halia says to Mosk, you! So she is going to swing right now at Mosk. And uh, do you guys, Peppermint, Bobo, Fut, and Pip, should we just slip out the back? Yeah, let's look <laughs> out our window. I don't, I, I don't have it in me right now to go toe to toe with all these Nothic no. or whatever. Totally, right. totally. I, all right. Yeah. I'm hungry. We're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to yes. do dexterity checks and stealth checks to see if you can right. slip out the back. There's, there's, still, I mean, the, there's, I mean, the the house itself. There's not a back door, but we can figure that out. We'll, we'll just get you sneaking back towards the back where they won't notice you. Okay, so it's just a glass of water. I mean, come on. <laughs> I rolled a one for hyphen. And so, right, so uh, I fall down or something. You're hung over right? and shit. Well, yeah, you you got you woke up after a coke binge, so you're just not in, on your stealth game, you know. So, like, so you you fall over. Uh, so now we'll try. We'll see how uh, uh, Fut does sneaking away. You roll the sixteen, so you sneak back to the corner of the room, kind of pass sort of into where the kitchen area might have been. Uh, Peppermint, you roll the four, so you just kind of run into some furniture and make a lot of noise. And Bobo got a 15. So Bobo, Bobo and Futt like successfully make it back. And then Pip, Pip uh, fucking falls over too because he's a dumb little kid. <laughs> he trips so, over me. And falls yeah, down. he trips <laughs> over you. Fucking and idiot, so, get off me. And so one of the other, uh, so uh, Antony and Scalia, one of, one of the other barbarians, Scalia, one of the barbarians says, uh, why are there piles of children here? This is a battle. So they're still, I mean, I didn't. I rolled some swings and stuff at each other. They're kind of all just battling each other, but nobody's dead yet or anything. They're just kind of because everybody was missing or barely hitting each other. So they're also going on. So we'll go back to to uh, hyphen now. You're uh you're on the ground, but uh, they're still all kind of in their own world battling. You just jump out a fucking window. I mean, it's like it's an old house. It's probably the walls are probably not yeah, very. Yeah, peppermint. Small. All right, I'll use my turn to be like peppermint. Smash this window out. <laughs> sure. I like you just talked to her like Captain America talked to the Hulk. Uh, Peppermint smash. Okay, he got a 17, so Peppermint thinks that's a good idea. Okay, so Peppermint uh, hyphen has asked you to break open the window, and he looks at you with that, you know, even though he's all fucked up and hung over from coking on the floor, the way he looks at you just really bulls you over, and you've decided, yeah, maybe I should do what he wants. You know? Got it. So uh, I'll just I'll pick up him and Pip, and I'll just run and jump through the wall. All right, I love that idea. Okay, so okay, you pick up Pip. Okay, you pick up Hyphen. Okay, and let's do. All right, your dexterity check was good, and so now we'll just do a strength check for you versus the wall. So you successfully, <laughs> seriously, just like burst through the back wall, and I get my yeah. face smashed into the wall. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, we'll do a little damage to him again. Let's see. Here. You took another you point of damage from plaster in your face. Unbelievable! You're unbelievable. Do you know that? <laughs> Peppermint, once you go through, go, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they're still fighting. I'm going to see. The Nothic is pretty smart. Now, he only got a four, so he doesn't even notice you guys. So the Nothic and H Musk, Musk are still fighting each other. You guys are free. You're out Woo! the back of the building. Oh, hey, now we have to get that fucking cart. Yeah, we should take that cart. Huh? Well, we should take whatever cart those people showed up in, and then we should go to that cocaine city and like and get all the coke and, and become the cocaine people. We have I'm so with this plan, I love it. You know, I can drive since Elmer's not with us anymore. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, it'll be lighter. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. I just want to do a quick emotional check on Pip here. Okay, you got a four. Pip just starts kind of breaking down. It's suddenly kind of realizing to him how fucked up his life is. All right, hey, fuck, what, start handle sobbing. this. Handle right. this, dude. This is I annoying. Go, I got it. I got it. I go, hey, Pip, Pip, not the time, not the place. All right. <laughs> All right. I, uh, that's going to be the intimidation part of parenting. So we'll, we'll see how you do. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got a 16. So he goes, okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good. Hey, Good. Good. I I'm love sorry, you. Bud. I love you. I love you. Okay. <laughs> I love you. You got an eight. He says, okay. And I get closer and I say, I love you. You got an eight again. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, are we going to do this? For, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. to go. Not right. in front of Bobo. You, you, your kid doesn't like you very much. No. Deal with it. Come on. We can, I can't wait here. Yeah. So these guys find us and so your kid time. says, I love you back. It's creepy and weird. Let's go. I love you. 
Oh my God. All right, we're leaving you with your weird kid. Oh, you gotta love it that time. He's like, okay, let's just go. Thank you. Thank you. God damn it. <laughs> All right, so you guys are in the cart and you uh, start heading down the, the Tribor Trail again. And there's a I gotta guy. Say, I've, been, I've been to better strip clubs for sure. I've also been to worse strip clubs. That wasn't the worst. Yeah. That was a cool theme, though. I like that. Yeah.